Hey, this is Sebastian from Stone Selects. Today we're going to be showing you a little kind of instructional uh, video on how to lay grout on various applications. We got two types of brick. We got a clay brick. We have man-made brick. We have man-made stone, and we have natural stone. So these are the tools you're going to be needing for grout. First of all, you'll need a bucket to mix the grout in, and a mixer, and obviously the grout. Uh, you're going to need a spatula for getting the grout into the grout bag, which is what else you'll need. You'll need, this is a cleaning tool, I just use a stick, you can use your finger and a glove. That's not too big of a deal, we'll explain that later. And then a brush, and also just a knife in case you need to cut the grout bag a little bit bigger. We'll be laying a gray grout today. We use the uh, King Type S219 mortar that you can get at your local stone selects, and uh, we'll be showing you how to mix it right now. All right, so to mix up the grout, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of water in your bucket first. I usually have a separate water bucket, just makes it easier for me. Just open up the top here, and simply pour it in. And then you just use a standard mixer. Once you get your water and your powder in, you mix it up. So when you're mixing up the grout, uh, it's not an exact science. Start off with about a one to six ratio of water to uh, grout. And as you see here, we're a little bit too thick. We want the consistency to be more like a kind of peanut butter or toothpaste. This is a little bit too thick. So we just add a little bit more water and keep mixing. And if you go too thin, just add a little bit more grout and keep mixing until you get the right consistency. Uh, so we just mixed up the grout. It's pretty close to the consistency I want. Might be a little bit wet, but that's okay. We can still work with it. Like I said before, kind of a loose toothpaste, peanut butter kind of consistency. You want it to be able to just kind of slide off the spatula with having just a little bit left over. And what you do now is you gotta wait five minutes for the chemistry to react in the bucket. And after five minutes of sitting, you mix it up again and we can start grouting. All right, so we just waited five minutes for the grout to set. We remixed it after that five minutes. We got a pretty good consistency. Now we're gonna do is just a little quick test to make sure that the grout actually comes out of the hole, the grout bag. So just a couple scoops in there. And then we just wanna see what we're working with here. So this one seems to come up pretty nice. Now we know we got a good consistency, a good hole size. Now we're just gonna be loading up the grout. What I usually do is just kinda roll back the opening like that, helps you hold it. I usually step on the tip just to make sure we don't get any leaks. And simply scoop the grout into the bag. Now we just pick it up from the tip so it doesn't drip. Give it a little shake. And then here, you wanna be careful to try to get as little air bubbles as possible. So grab it right by where the grout is. And then just give it a little twist. And we're ready to work. So the first thing we're gonna be grouting today is a reclaimed brick. This is a clay brick. Uh, this stuff usually dries much quicker than our other applications we'll show you in a sec. And it's really simple. Simply insert the nozzle into the grout and then twist and squeeze as you're moving along. And don't worry too much. I'll even show you, for example, if you mess up and go over like that, that's not a big deal. Just leave it for now, don't touch it. And we're just going with the bricks nice and easy. Going all the way across. We just fill in our gaps. All right, so now that we've done the clay brick, which has the smallest grout lines, with the smallest hole in the bag, we're gonna move to something slightly larger. And I like to cut a little hole here, a little bit bigger. You can use a knife or scissors, doesn't matter, as long as you get the hole a little bit bigger. We're gonna do the exact same thing with this brick as we did with the last. So we're continuing on now to our man-made stone. Uh, this is slightly bigger grout lines again, but actually I'm not gonna cut because as the grout comes out of the bag, it'll expand and fill out the slots. So for this one, I'm not gonna cut a bigger line. I'm just gonna make sure that there's enough grout in there. We 
compared to our natural stone, this specific one has even bigger grout lines. So once again, we're just gonna cut our hole a little bit bigger. And same as always, get the nozzle right in there and gently twist and squeeze and fill out those grout lines you made. When you missed a spot or didn't go as far enough out as you want, you can always add a little bit more. All right, so we just finished applying the grout with all our samples here. Nice little helpful tip for you is once you're done with your grout bag, just give it a twist, keep it twisted, and just leave it like that. The cement will dry up, and when you want to use it again, you just uncrack it, all the cement will pop out, and you'll have a nice clean bag for the next time. All right, so now a very important step is checking when the grout dries. As I mentioned before, there's different drying times. Uh, our reclaimed clay brick over there, it can dry anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. Our natural stone could take up to three hours to dry. The way that you check for drying is you just poke it with your finger. I'll show you this one's way too wet. And as you can see, that's what it looks like when it's too wet, where I'm kind of pushing and smearing the grout around. So that one's lost the weight. We go over to this one. This one is a little bit drier, but still too wet. See how I can push my finger all the way through. That's not what we want to see. So we're waiting on that one as well. We'll check this one. This one's almost ready. We could probably start working with it if we wanted. Where I can't get my finger too deep. It kind of just doesn't push the grout out to the side. And this one should be ready to go. Oh yeah. So this one you can see, this is what you want to see where you can't really push your finger in. It's kind of giving you resistance and you can even do a little test clean and see what all just flakes off there. There's no wetness, there's no smearing. That's what you want to see. So this one is ready to clean. All right, it's gonna look a little different in your homes because we're in a warehouse, so we don't care too much about the dirt. But grouting is very, very dirty. You wanna make sure to tarp up the floors, as much protection as you want, as you can have. Because as you see, as we're cleaning off here, all the stuff's just gonna be falling on the ground. Even when you're applying, there's little kind of boo-boos that happen. Make sure you put a tarp down on your floor. That's essential. So now we've gone through the different stages of grout drying. This is the one sample we have at the moment that we can start actually cleaning. And you could either use just your finger with a glove on, even a little stick that I shaped to just kind of be in the shape of grout. You can buy grout tools, but honestly, don't waste your money. So once it's, like we said, the right consistency where you can't push your finger kind of anywhere deeper and it's flaking off, you just go along the lines, either with your finger or with a tool, and you're just kind of pushing the grout in and smoothing it out. And remember I said, don't worry about little mistakes because once it's dry enough, you'll be able to flake it off and then eventually with her brush, you'll be able to clean that off. We'll show you in a second. Another tip I have is sometimes you miss a spot. You can't really see it here, but maybe I'll create a fake missed spot for you. Let's say you have something like this. The grout didn't really get deep enough, right? Instead of remixing the mortar, all you gotta do, take some of this half wet stuff, crumple it up, and just squish it right in there. For small little mistakes, small little gaps to fill, that's all it takes. And that gap's now full. All right, so after we've applied the grout, wait for it to dry enough, and tooled it, the final step in the process is to brush it. Once again, make sure that it's this kind of dryness where it's flaking off. Any brush you want. Don't use a wire brush for any of the bricks or the man-made stone. A wire brush is okay for the natural, but I don't recommend a wire brush. Just a standard little, I think, horsehair brush or whatever that is. And we just go over all our lines. And as you see, those little mistakes, they just kind of brush right off. And I usually give it a final big brush over everything once I'm done. And there you go. We have beautifully laid grout. This one right here, we just tooled. It was dry enough for us to tool it, but it's still a little bit wet for the brushing. And you'll kind of see that where, see how it's kind of smearing over there as I'm pulling and even a little bit of the colors left on this. So that's not what we want to see. So we're going to wait just another few minutes for that until it dries nice and dry. And we'll brush that as well. So we checked for the brush, we waited five, 10 minutes. We're checking again and it's almost there, but you can see it's still kind of leaving those little smears, and that's not what you want to see. So 
In a few spots it's alright, but we're gonna wait just a little bit longer. That's kind of what you wanna don't wanna see there, those smears. So we're just gonna wait another five minutes and check again with the brush. So we waited another about ten minutes. Should be ready now. As I mentioned before though, it's not a timing thing, you just gotta kinda keep checking. So we're gonna do a little check here. And that looks a lot better. A lot as much smearing, it's just kind of flaking off. Alright, so we can brush this guy. A little tip here. Every once in a while you make a little boo-boo that you can clean off. Take just a rag and make sure it's dry. No water in this, has to be dry. And you can just kind of give it a little rub and they'll get most of it off. So as I mentioned before, natural stone takes a long time to dry and sometimes it takes a bit too long. So we can kind of help the drying process a little bit by pointing a fan at our natural stone. It'll just kind of get the air flow moving quicker and it will dry a little bit quicker. But as we can see here, we check. It's getting more dry if you remember the previous video, but it's still too wet. So that one we're still gonna wait. Let's check this guy. There we go. This guy looks good. So we're gonna clean off the man-made stone here. Is ready for brushing. Yeah, we could brush this guy right away. So as you see here, not any smearing, very minimal. So we can give this guy a brush right away. And you're not digging in too deep with the brush, just a gentle brushing back and forth. You're just smoothing out all the tooling you've done earlier. Alright, so we're finally ready to clean our grout from our natural stone. You can see I'm pressing in here and it's pretty firm, just like the rest of them. Uh, this one probably took about two and a half hours, but as I said before, it's not a set time. You want to keep checking every 15 minutes, 30 minutes to make sure that you're not getting too dry. So this one's ready to go, just as the rest of them, either with the tool or with your finger. Either one works well. Just make sure you're wearing gloves for using your finger. This one feels to me like it'll be ready for brushing. Do a little test. Yep. See how it's moving and not smearing. So this one you can brush right away. And the same as the rest of them. You don't want to go too firm and right in the grout. Just kind of over the stone and the grout together. Just smoothing everything out. Alright, so we're all done here with our grouting. We've laid the grout, we've let it dry, we've tooled it, we've brushed it. It looks beautiful. So now all we have to do is clean up. And as I mentioned before, I'm good to have a tarp or something for your floor to protect, clean all this stuff up. And another tip is you don't want to do any cleaning with water on the grout for at least two days. The grout, even though it appears dry, it still has a bit of moisture left in it. If you add water to it, if you're mopping, for example, uh, it could pull some of the color from the grout and create a bit of a glaze. So at least two days, I'd say no water, just let it sit. And also the color will slightly brighten as it dries completely in about two or three days. So the color you see now, it will be just a shade or two lighter gray. Thanks for watching. You've just learned how to apply grout to your natural.